Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Nick Landers, and this is Success Starter Kit. Welcome back to Success Starter Kit. Um, this one's kind of personal today. Uh, I want to talk about the importance of risk and taking risk in particular. Um, some of you know that like maybe like uh, about a year and a half ago, I quit my job. Uh, I was a career high school teacher teaching uh, language arts uh, for about a decade. I'd had a lot of success, you know, uh, you know, teacher of the month and worked at some of the premier schools uh, in the world, actually. The number one school in Germany. I taught at a couple different institutions in Japan. I've taught here in the IB. I've taught in Common Core. I've won uh, multiple basketball championships, you know, in America and abroad in Denmark. And so uh, I'd, I'd experienced uh, certain levels, like a medium level of success, but I didn't want to do it anymore. Um, I, I still wanted to work with kids. I still wanted to work with young adults, but just not uh, in the classroom. And so when I started having feelings about leaving education, um, I was ready. I was ready to go. There's a lot of bureaucracy, a lot of red tape. Uh, if you've ever been in public education, you know that. Um, and even private education, that still exists there too. But So I told my parents I wanted to quit. And the first thing they said was, well, what are you gonna do next? And I said, I I'm not too sure. I think I wanna be a motivational speaker. I think I wanna work with uh, young adults. I think I wanna create courses. I think I wanna travel and just share my experiences, uh, teaching around the world and what I've learned from just living abroad. And then they were like, well, how are you gonna earn money? Well, Nicholas, you you're stupid if, if, if you quit and you're not earning any money. How much savings do you have, X, Y, and Z? And I, I started to really let those things get to me. And as a matter of fact, um, I had built up such a, uh, what, do you, what do you say, like such a blockage, like such a adverse reaction to uh, uh, teaching that I had a panic attack in school. I literally thought I was gonna die. I was in class and I was kind of walking and there was a, uh, uh, one of my students in front and my chest started getting tight. I felt like I was gonna faint. And it was crazy because I, I literally did not know how people fainted. Like I would see it in movies and thought like it was fake. I literally thought like, like oh, and I was like, I was like, oh, that's fake. You know, how do you faint? I was in the middle of the class, the student was in front of me and uh, my chest got so tight that I, I got weak in the, in the head and weak in the knees and I kind of, and I caught myself. And the student in front, she says, Mr. Landers, are you okay? And I, and I was just like, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm fine. I'm, don't worry about it. That, but she was clearly concerned. I was concerned. I, I felt like I was gonna have a stroke, like the left side of my body was weak. I, I had to go to the emergency room uh, and I couldn't really find anything. I found out later on it was a panic attack. That it was, it was the, the mental side of it. Um, and I wanna explain something that you can be in a position where uh, you have a nine to five and that job affords you a lifestyle. That job affords you the opportunities to do certain things, eat certain foods, live certain places. And I think most of us kind of gravitate towards a sort of comfortable life. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but there's also a space where you can have those things and not feel okay. You can be comfortable materially, but broken and uncomfortable inside and with yourself. And so when I talk about today, like embracing risk and uncertainty, no, 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 no. I didn't know what I was going to do uh, next. Um, I, I didn't have all the answers. And I think here's the here's key one. Here's your first key. For you to take that leap, it's not necessary all the time to have every answer. Sometimes it's okay to just say, I don't know. I don't know what's next. I just know I need to do this. And what happens is, everything else sort of fills in, but only after you jump. <laughs> only after you take that key and you unlock the door, can you really see what's behind it. Everything else before that is just guessing, right? It's just, it's just it's theory, it's a, it's a hypothesis. You don't know. And so a lot of fear and worry and doubt exists before. And here's the thing, it, key number two, doubt, fear, worry, all that stuff, anxiety, it lessens or goes away once you step through. Once you step on the other side and say, what's on the other side of quitting my job? You don't know until you do it. Everything else before that is like, oh my God, I, I just, I pro I'll probably be poor. I'll probably have to move back home. Uh, I'll be living on the streets. There's no one I can depend on. All that is just conjecture and stuff like that. 
But when you actually make the leap is when you actually gain more certainty. You actually gain more peace when you see that, hey, this big scary monster, when you can put a face to it and a shape to it, is not really as scary as you thought. It actually, when it takes form, you can see it better. And what that means is, if you can conceptualize it and see it, now you know how to handle it and where to go with that. If you're ill and you don't know what the illness is, of course there's anxiety, of course there's fear. You don't know what to do because you don't know what it is. But when somebody can put a name to it, say, oh, you have a cold, oh, you have this, or what you experienced was a panic attack. Now you know, they say, well, here, look, panic attacks, here's what you should do. Now you have answers when you go out and you find an answer to what that thing is in you calling. All right, so if you have a, a desire to quit your job and to start a business, create a product, to move, whatever, have, whatever, whatever you want to do, you're never going to get that comfort and certainty that you need to take that step until you take that step, right? There's peace to action. I know it sounds cliche, but action cures it. Action fixes things. You can think about running a triathlon all you want or running a savage race or a Spartan race all you want, but running it reveals what that is. Running it reveals who you are in the process. I give you a literature example as, as an English language arts teacher. There's something called a foil. And this character is called a foil because what it does is this character reveals the characteristics and the qualities of this other person. Example, you have Clark Kent and you have Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor is designed and characterized to be a certain way to reveal the qualities of Clark Kent Superman. Lex Luthor has to be so devious and evil and things like that, so that when they're juxtaposed and they're compared, now you can see Clark's goodness. Now you can see Clark's character, right? So you need this other piece to reveal who you are. You need to take action to reveal who you really are. You may think, you're like, oh, I'm the best athlete in the world. I'm this, that, and the other. You don't know it until you take the step and that will show you who you are. But the process, that, that revelation is what gives you peace. And whether you are that thing or not, knowing it now and where you stand gives you clarity, power, and it gives you a chance to succeed. You're never gonna get anywhere by, 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 by not taking action. You're never gonna get anywhere by not believing in yourself enough to go for it. I'm here to tell you right now, I quit my job a year and a half ago and I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. I, I, everything's just fine. And in a lot of ways, I've, I've, I've learned to save more money uh, after quitting my job. I've met more people who are pivotal to my success than ever. I've learned who is really for me and who's not. All of these things I didn't, I didn't have an idea of until I took the leap. Okay, so at the end of the day, I want you to embrace risk. I want you to embrace not knowing. I want you to get excited by it. I want you to get excited by things that you don't know, okay? Because that means there's something for you to know, something for you to learn. That, that means there's another step and a place for you to grow and, and to grow into, right? And on the other side of action and on the other side of progress and, and sweat equity is the real you. Stop imagining who you, who you think you are and step into a place of knowing who you are. I'm gonna close with this right here. I love this movie, The Matrix, right? It's my favorite, it's one of my favorite, it's like my top three of all time. And I, I love this scene uh, between Neo and Morpheus fighting. And, and Neo is like first time, you know, like getting plugged back into The Matrix after he's been plugged in to learn how to fight. And he's like, I know Kung Fu, right? And we're like, oh, you know, this man knows some Kung Fu. And Morpheus says, show me. And they go and they fight, da 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 da. And then Neo gets frustrated. You know, because he's like, I just got plugged in. You just gave me all this Kung Fu, all this martial arts, all this Jeet Kune Do, all this, all this stuff, and I'm still losing. Why? I'm frustrated. And he knows somewhere that there's another level. And Morpheus says, you know, and Neil's like, I, 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 can, I can go faster than this. I, I'm better than this. And Morpheus says, don't think you are, know you are. And then Neo steps into it, and there's a confidence that comes with it because now he's prepared to show everyone. 
and to show himself. That is where you need to get. 